Tech Legion. We'll be taking a look at the ASUS P8Z77V Deluxe Motherboard, built for the third generation core processors from Intel, LGA Socket 1155. As you can see, uh, the box is black with the ASUS logo on it. Of course, green, green lettering denominating what the actual board is. We have the Smart Digi Plus logo on the uh, left hand side. This is PCI 3.0 ready. On the bottom, it shows the different functions that the motherboard could support. We'll go over that in the review. It's a Z77 chipset, of course, supports SLI and Crossfire. It does have Lucid Virtue MVP. Dolby DTS. If we turn to the back of the box, we can see some of the other features that ASUS would like to showcase. Of course, the Dual Intelligent Processor 3 or DIP3 with the Smart Digi Power Control. Wi Fi to go, which is something new. You might be used to Bluetooth to go, which we've seen on our past versions of ASUS motherboards. But now we have Bluetooth 4 and Wi Fi with this deluxe board. Fan Expert 2, do have a great video for that for you on that. Basically, you get total control of your fans in your chassis and it works tremendously. There's an auto mode there that you could definitely look at and it'll just set everything to auto mode based on the fans that you have, what the minimum, maximum RPMs are, etc. And of course the Lucid Logics Virtue MVP which enables you to use the onboard video that the Ivy Bridge processors have or the onboard graphics and a discrete card at the same time to kind of take advantage of some of the Intel technologies like QuickSync. So if we go ahead and turn the board around and we flip up the top, we'll have more features for the board itself. USB 3.0, turbo, USB flashback, uh, USB BIOS flashback, help you flashback your BIOS. Uh, actually with this uh, we do have a video to show you and Basically, you do not even need a processor on your board in order to use that. If we lift it up, we can see that it has a clear plastic panel. You can actually see the motherboard inside. We'll go ahead and take the motherboard out. Go and place the motherboard up for you. So you could look at that and I will go ahead and grab the accessories that come with the board. We'll go ahead over the accessories first. First thing that we have is our SATA cables. We have six SATA cables. They are uh, SATA 6G capable. We have an SLI bridge. Our I.O. plate. Of course, no ASUS motherboard comes complete without their front panel connectors for your case. Plug your front panel connectors into here, plug that in. Very easy. Makes life a lot easier, especially if you're in a dark room. Now, as we mentioned, we have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. This is the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi module. Of course, your antennas, which are here, get connected to that. And the module actually goes up in here, there is a screw that you need to unscrew. Put this into its slot. It does have a pin connector system. Screw, there is a hole on the motherboard that you could actually screw into the back. And last but not least, we have our manuals, our Wi Fi to go manual and our user's guide, 
which of course also contains your drivers. Let's look at the motherboard itself. As you can see, it's the normal Asus colors that we've become familiar with of late. We have some nice heavy blue heat sinks here covering the uh, PCH and the VRM. Heat pipe. Our 8 pin connector is up on top. As well as two fan, uh, CPU fan headers. If you have a CPU uh, heat sink that has two fans on it, you're not going to have to use a, uh, a Y connector. You can plug both of them in. Four DIMM slots, DDR3, dual channel. Coming down towards the side is our, want to make sure I got that right, yes, the TPU switch. That's basically a one-click overclocking. Uh, it enables you to performance tune your, your CPU via ASUS algorithms per, for performance tuning. Flip that up. You go ahead and reboot. After you shut your computer down, flip it up, reboot, and you will have an instant overclock. Another fan header, 24-pin power connector. When we come down to the side here, let's go ahead and take a look at these uh, SATA ports. These two SATA ports here are SATA 6G. These are for the ASUS SSD caching. They are on an Asmedia, Asmedia chip. Then we have, of course, our native Intel SATA 6. Then we have two SATA 3s here. On the bottom of the board are our connectors and, of course, our debug. USB. We have a power switch and a reset switch. The rest of these connectors are either for your sound card, etc. Another fan header here, and of course I skipped that, but there's a fan header here on the bottom by the debug LED. Looking at the board, we have two X16 lanes, four SLI, and then a third. One, two, three, four PCIe X1 slots. And then if we look at the IO play, at the back input output. Back panel has eight channel sound. Intel LAN, gigabit LAN, USB 3.0, USB 3.0, firewire connectors. These here are for your display since Ivy Bridge does have the onboard graphics. You have either an HDMI or a display port connector. This is your BIOS switch. Back to BIOS switch. And here is where you would connect your your USB 2.0 uh, peripherals as in mouse and keyboard. Flip the board over, take a look at it, take, take a look at these heat sinks, get a little bit better view of them. This is the 1155 socket. If we turn the board around, we can see that it does have plates on the back for added uh, security. And that has been our quick overview of the ASUS P8Z77V Deluxe Motherboard. For the full review, visit www.hitechlegion.com. Thank you. Stay thirsty, my friends. Bye-bye.